The new camp now is, is a mud. It's rained and it's mud. We said in the beginning this is a really bad place to put the camp, but uh, they went ahead and done it anyway. Um, the tents are far too close together. The tents are on a beach. No one should be living on the beach in the winter. Um, and they're summer tents. At the moment, I think there's about 8,000 people in the camp. Um, on the island, I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe 12,000, I'm not too sure, 10,000, 12,000. But last winter, we had 20,000 inside the old one. They caught fire and burnt down a couple of months ago. Um, what can I say about Moria? God. If we kept animals in Europe in those conditions, the, the, the people would kick up a stink, let's put it that way. But this camp is for human beings, meant for human beings. And same as the new camp, you know, there's no way you would keep animals in those conditions. Um, you, and what I've seen over the last five years regarding this situation is it seems like all the, the money that is coming out of Europe, coming from the European Commission, this money is not followed up, it's just given. Uh, and it seems to me all this money is given uh, as a deterrent to stop refugees coming. All this abuse we have of refugees living in tents, some refugees not living in tents at all, just living on the floor. Uh, the constant abuse um, it's been incredible absolutely incredible and the UNHCR is part of this you know um, they're meant to be there for the protection of refugees but every time something bad goes wrong the UNHCR said they're only here as monitors uh, 